surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. And watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. It's time for our tale of the tape. It's Sugar Ray Leonard weighing in at 72 kilos, bang on, 175 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. And facing him, Sugar Ray Robinson in the middleweight division, 160 pounds, 5 foot 11 inches tall with a reach of just over 72 inches. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the greatest all-time one world titles in five weight classes, and he fights out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. I'm so excited for this fight. There is no nonsense here. So now let's go into the ring for the official introductions. Here's the classy Jimmy Leonard. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of box. In the red corner, presenting one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Fame legend of boxing, a five division champion of the world, introducing Sugar Ray Leonard. Fighting out of the blue corner from New York, here is one of boxing's all time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five time middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray. Robinson! Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. And there's the bell to start round one. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. It's bombs away. Well, I hope you brought your sunglasses because we're fighting outside and what a main event this should be. This is taking boxing back to its roots outside where you've got the crowd there. You can hear everything. You've got the breeze of the wind. You've got the heat of the sun. You know when you're doing this? Your feet are on fire. They're on fire. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. And he misses with that jab. That's another scoring shot. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. hard type of fight. Some 
nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just misses with that jab. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. It's obvious this fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. He knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. People love watching fighters in this weight class because they've got the speed and they've got the power. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is the heavyweights, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with the middleweights are ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than that. What is this fighter? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. about Ray Leonard. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond. Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. They are giving us a high tempo show. got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? What you've got to do, Chuddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. you just got to put in a guess. Nice 
exchanges from both men in this round. Nice shot with the left. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And he just missed with that left jab. Just when you think they're going to have a low on the action, we get it heated back up. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Ray Leonard. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on. Let's start the six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? Todd, we know one of these fighters can knock you out with a simple jab. They're that powerful. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Which fighter will say no moss? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Uh, Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to saw. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. <laughs> Let's talk about Ray Leonard. And there's the bell for round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Another scoring shot there. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He missed with that jab. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. It's going to be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration. Stumbling around on Bambi legs. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. <laughs> round eight, and we're off again. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Beautiful counter punch. He misses with that jab. He misses with that jab.
Swing and a miss with the jab. got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get caught to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. And they figure out the combination to this sink. And he fails to score with that left hook. Defend yourself a, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Ray Leonard. As bad as boxing judging can be. And there's the bell for round nine. Pulling off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Through the hook, didn't land. Oh, and they got rocked! What a moment! Sugar Ray Leonard, can you believe it? Just got knocked down! seconds to get up. I don't see any movement here. It looks like this one's going to be over. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Nice job landing with that right-hand counter. Just as quickly for the final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Let's talk about Ray Leonard. They get one minute. This is the 10th. They've got to be feeling confident now after what happened last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs are feeling like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? That power, that power might be the go or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Seen in the past in this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. And that's exchanges from both men in this round. They score again with the left hand. He got out of the way of that right hook. punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Ray Leonard. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. I so they don't get complacent. I think this is too easy. That's start 11. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Left 
Punch. Punch. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got. Oh my goodness. I admire these guys. Missed him with that uppercut. They better start respecting each other's punching power. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Oh, Leonard just got rocked. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. <laughs> On to the 12th. Nice to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again. When your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing, it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. And he misses with the left uppercut. Timing beats speed. Speed, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, it's go back to the drawing board time. A unanimous decision victory. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart, that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. At every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.